we also have a unified platform. Everything from Raspberry Pi to the holographic computer is one developer platform. It's one unified store. Windows is the only ecosystem that lets you bring your apps to all of these devices. The new Windows Store will offer new business models and ways to monetize for all of our Windows developers. On this PC, it does great work with touch. You can see here the app, the, the article flows greatly in the, flows great in this size window. I have the same binary running here, the same live tile. I run it and the article's opening up to the exact same place, leveraging the state that was automatically shared to the cloud. So they invested one hour in their universal Windows application code base, and here it is running on the Xbox. Tencent wanted to bring WeChat to Windows PCs and tablets. On the phone, I've noticed Shen had sent me a message. I click on the notification center message from WeChat, open the message from Shen asking for the file, and here they've done some tailoring to accept drag and drop from the desktop. But today we want to talk also about your current code, your current apps. You can reuse your current server-hosted website code and tools to have your website send notifications, to give your website a live tile, have your website integrate with Cortana, do in-app purchases, integrate with Xbox Live, and more. We will be adding support for bringing your .NET and Win32 apps into the Windows Store. We'll enable developers to reuse nearly all of the Java and C++ code from an Android phone app to create apps for phones running Windows 10. The fourth technology to build great new universal Windows applications is Objective-C. That you will be able to compile the same Objective-C code that's being used in iOS applications within Visual Studio on Windows. You'll notice there's new beautiful live tile animations that help draw people's attention to the apps and the app data for the things that they've pinned. We've got the most used apps here. We're putting File Explorer, Settings, Power, all apps at the bottom. We're bringing jump lists back in. So you can see here's File Explorer with jump lists. And this, I haven't installed an app for a little while. So the system is going to give us a smart suggestion. On the client, we know which apps you're launching and which apps you're installing. And so we're able to communicate with the store and bring down suggestions that are personalized for you. Microsoft Edge is the browser built for Windows 10. And it'll be available on the widest range of Windows 10 devices.